Two students have been arrested outside the University of Cape Town's Kramer Law lecture rooms on Middle Campus after clashing with police. Police say the students allegedly tried to disrupt lectures. They intervened when they were attacked by the students, according to them. The protesting students are now calling on university management to lift the fee blocks, which are preventing some students from registering. Uh, let's go live now to SABC News reporter Atule Joker, who is at uh, UCT. Atule, good evening to you and welcome. Uh, what's happening where you are right now? Well, what is happening right now, we are at the middle campus. Behind me, these are students are chanting and singing struggle songs. We saw those visuals earlier on uh, that were captured on a video cell phone footage of uh, students uh, on standoff with the police. They were clashing with the police earlier on. Um, the university is alleging that the students were disrupting classes. So students, uh, two students have been taken into custody and uh, we understand that they've been charged at the moment. Students are still calling for those fee blocks to be so that students can be allowed and be enabled to be registered. But I do have some of the students who will speak to us. Uh, I'll just ask them to uh, come uh, to us a bit. My brother, if you can introduce yourself and talk to us about the purpose of this particular protest. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Uh, my name is uh, Jeffrey Mukwena. I'm the UCT FFSC coordinator. Um, well, uh, our stance as the AFFSC UCT has been clear in terms, when, when it comes to fee blocks and uh, res lack of residence spaces. Uh, it can't be that in the post-apartheid that black students are also subjected to such treatment where they cannot afford to study and yet they, they, are, they, are, they are derived from excess to quality, uh, free and education. And when they can't afford that education, they are derived spaces in residences. And when they voice out their frustration with the management and the, 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 the government of South Africa, they are interdicted and derived of their legitimate right to protest and cr are criminalized by police officers, are brutalized by police officers. Today, when we demonstrated in the institution, trying to voice out our opinions, trying to voice out our demonstration, were brutalized by police officers. Some of us were arrested, women were abused. It can't be. In the new South Africa, that cannot happen. We have another student as well. If you can explain to us how many students are affected by the fee blocks who cannot register, and also on your engagements with the university, what are they saying? So we have about um, 7,000 plus students who are currently unregistered. Most of them are back at home. Um, some of them are here in the Western Cape. Some of them are here at UCT. Some of them are unaccommodated. Um, so we engaged with council, which is, the, which is the highest decision-making body of the university, and they reached a decision that they're not going to lift um, the fee, fee blocks, which is what's causing them not to register because they owe money. So. That's, that's the decision they came to, that they're not going to leave the fee blocks and they want those students evicted from the residences that they're currently, they're currently in and they want them out of the university. I also want to bring in another member uh, of the SRC of the students. Uh, my, my brother, if you can talk to us um, on your engagements with the SRC, with, with, with the management of the university, because what they are saying is that they did lift uh, the threshold from 1,000 to 10,000 rand to try and accommodate the students to be able to um, alleviate that debt that they have. What are you saying on that? Uh, greetings and thank you for having us. I'm speaking on behalf of SASCO, the South African Student Congress. Uh, let me just correct you there. Management itself hasn't been willing to engage with students. As our SRC from the beginning of the year went and tried to engage with management, but management did not want to engage with management. Let me tell you something. Lifting the fee block from 1,000 to 10,000 is nothing. Fees at UCT run at 200,000 plus. So what is 10,000 as compared to 200,000? It's nothing. Fee blocks is not just the policy because the institution doesn't want to go bankrupt. Fee blocks is the exclusionary policy to exclude the children of the poor and working class. We all know that these historically white institutions, they don't want to see African students in their institutions. So this fee block policy is there to exclude African students. My brother, if you can talk to us lastly, um, you have a court interdict against the SRC. What is the way forward from here? So, of course, the court interdict is a legally binding uh, document. So, of course, in everything that we do plan to do, there's no plan in uh, going against the law. We will remain things lawful. And we saw today, it was, today was a clear example that even when things were within the law, they still brought police and physically abused and uh, intimidated students on campus that were just trying to get an education. 
So we still do plan from the SRC side, we still plan, we do not plan on doing any unlawful activities, everything will be within the law. Thank you so much. Well, those are the views of the students here yeah, um, claiming that um, the fee blocks are exclusionary policies and policies that exclude those who are vulnerable, who those who are destitute, who cannot pay their fees. And therefore, they will continue to demonstrate, to try and get their voices to be heard. The university from their side said um, the students, what they were doing here was unlawful, was also in contravention of the law because they received an interim uh, um, interdict to, that prevents the students to, uh, to, to, to protest inside the, pre the, the premises of this university. But they are saying that the protests are on going until those 7,000 plus universities are allowed to come into the institution to register. As you can see that the remaining students are singing here, chanting struggle songs to say that they want those who are excluded uh, on the basis that they do not afford the fees to be allowed to register those fee blocks to be lifted. But as we understand at the moment, the university did issue out a notice last week to say that they won't be lifting uh, the fee blocks. But the students said this policy is exclusionary and they won't be allowed and accepting it. All right. Thanks so much uh, to our reporter there on UCT's, uh, I think it was the middle campus, uh, Atule Joka. This is a story that is developing, certainly not going to die down uh, anytime soon, and we will be there and we will keep you updated.